thank you for being with me here. I have enjoyed your visit and hope to see you some other time. Good afternoon. Nice to have you in our house. I am Ayşe Beyazit, and you are in Salacak in Üsküdar in Istanbul. So please do come in. This is an old Turkish house, uh, 200 years old, from the 18th century. Uh, we inherited it, and we are trying to keep it as it is. And it is a little bit like a museum. It has the atmosphere of old Turkish history. As you enter, this is the hall. And uh, we have a wonderful view of Istanbul, the old part of Istanbul, where we have all the mosques and everything. This is the dining room. And then we have a small library here. and my favorite place is the balcony, especially in summer. The view, and it is, it's, it's very peaceful, and the sunset is wonderful, and you can sit here. In this house uh, was by the sea. And then they built a little, they filled it, and now it became a big road. This is the owner of the house who died years ago. And we have the ex uh, president, prime ministers, etc.'s name, uh, pictures there that we know. See, these all show the old Turkish. I liked all the padishahs and things. This room is, they are all like reception rooms, yes, isn't it? But this are all the Turkish edirnes. This furniture, this particular room, comes from my father-in-law's house, who died recently. So, you know, we have few 
extra things to. And then we go upstairs. Turkish way, all these what we call divans and all these things, they were in all Turkish houses. This I will call the music room, I suppose, because we we do some concerts here too, and we try to make this house livable. These are very old, very, very old. This is a very typical Turkish architecture uh, where the, there used to be a big hall or a small hall, it depends on the size of the house, and then all the bedrooms open to that hall so people eat and entertain themselves and then they go to, because the uh, families were very big then. The mother-in-laws, father-in-laws, everybody was used to live together. And then uh, these are typical stairs to go up to. And this house has two stairs. One is going down, this goes to the dining room, and that goes to the other side. But they are very typical. You want to see this one first? We are nearer to this. This is now a guest room. Our foreign friends come and stay here. This is another bedroom. And this sometimes becomes a bedroom. If we have more people, then it, this becomes a bedroom too. And the garden is Turkish garden too. Oh, Ottoman style. I should have opened this door. like the English gardens, they have this sort of thing. They do it like this, or cement or whatever, and then they have all these round things. You see, if you notice, everything is round going up. It's In summer, it's beautiful garden. It's really with the roses and with all the flowers around. Unfortunately, one of our trees got uh, the year before we had a terrible windstorm and that one died. That is typical. You will see most of the houses are this color in the old time. And it's a wooden house, as you know. And because it is wooden, it's very cool in summer, warm in winter. And if you have an earthquake, nothing happens. It goes and comes back. As I said, very little, very little. For example, this room was a bedroom. We made it into a television room. And some of the things, but mainly that, that room wasn't there. We did it. But mostly, 
we try to keep it as it is. So now we are go leaving the house and going to one of my favorite places on the Bosphorus, on a hill, which is called Adile Sultan Korusu. The view is very nice. And now we are at the beginning of Bosphorus. And this place I am taking you right is right in the middle of Bosphorus. You see this is Üsküdar and this is the residential part. So and all houses with used to be with large gardens, not anymore. And in the old days the middle intellectual middle class people used to live and they were really the Istanbul people that were born and lived all their lives. So now we are in Kandilli, which is still Üsküdar. This was an old school which was burned down and now they reopened it as a cultural uh, center. And also there is a very nice restaurant and in the evenings they are giving private parties as well. <laughs> This is the view. Isn't this nice? So this is my favorite restaurant in, in our neighborhood, which we come often in the evenings, especially when there is moon. It's really very nice and the food is very nice as well. <laughs> <laughs> 